Hey everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to to Bitcoin. Bigger the Coins Key crew. So the big question I'm getting asked by family and friends right now, I'm getting a lot of contact from them, you know. Uh, personally, I've been looking at Bitcoin for a very, very long time, you know. I've been telling my family and friends, like, you know, at this point here when it was coming back in the big, big ABC zigzag, I was saying, get as much money as you can, although I'm not a financial advisor, and buy Bitcoin. And, and that was fruitful. And we started to come up here, and I was telling my family and friends at that point, this is where I started making videos for the Coins Key crew. We've got the big rising wedge. I was saying, you know, take some profit off the table there. Bitcoin looks toppy. It's got to come into the 20. And it did. It did exactly that. And this is a message that I relayed to the Coins Key crew at the time. But at this point here, as it started to come back up, I expected a blow off top at this point. Okay. What I didn't envision is a regular ABC zigzag correction, which is what I think we've got here for Bitcoin. But on the way down, again, relaying in the videos to yourselves and family and friends, I said, once we break out this resistance point here, this is your go signal. This is confirmation of the bottom right there. Now, for those that don't remember, as we came down here, I gave you this target because I was looking at the 1618 fib. Okay. I said that that's a place to put some bids in if we start to see this support loss you've got a double top drop and this point here is you know the 1618 because it's the irregular abc so this is what i was looking at okay the a the b and the c now the invalidation of the beautiful elliott wave was this high here and i did relay this to you all the way down for bitcoin okay this pivot high was the invalidation of the bullish setup that I was looking at for bitcoin so like i told my family and friends in this particular drawdown here fear not i think this is a corrective phase of a bull market and we've got a massive impulsive move coming for bitcoin now that was fruitful that was a big tick and it's at this point when it started to come up like this my family and friends was telling me you know put your content on youtube help people out you know made us so much money so on and so forth put it on youtube so we did you know I just started to put on YouTube what I thought and what I saw and it was you know warmly received but what I didn't envision and I got completely wrong and I hold my hands up was the big irregular ABC here okay so I think the confluence in this massive ABC zigzag okay irregular ABC is not just in the Bitcoin chart it's in Chainlink it's in XRP it's in the S&P 500 it's in the DXY so if I'm correct what we've got here is a massive cycle and I've talked about this for so long you know till I'm blue in the face I've gone on about this particular big cycle that Bitcoin's in uh, you know from the top of my lungs I've been screaming this for a very long time and the invalidation of it was this move here lose that low lose that high sorry in this correction down you invalidate the setup for this last final fifth wave so where does this last final fifth wave go to that's the big question mark isn't it so in theory if we are in the big cycle which i personally think we are at the moment we're looking for the blow off top phase of this particular cycle and we're seeing the perfect setup across the board here in my opinion you know in many of the charts not just bitcoin the s p 500 is one like i said to you everyone was super bearish on that particular chart even alessio was starting to come out and called a bear market but i counted it and it proved fruitful we've made an all-time high on that chart so if I'm correct, we are in the early stages here of a potential blow off top to this red line, which has always been my target for my family and friends all the way from this bottom here. I was giving them this target. But in the process, you're going to come up, you're going to come down, you're going to come up, you're going to come down. It's going to get there in waveforms. OK, so why that red line? Why has that always been my target? So I'll go through this with you. And this is why on every single thumbnail I wrote 200K, the road to 200K for Bitcoin. OK, so I think we've got the perfect setup to that target. And I think it could come relatively soon if we see one thing if we see this level of resistance broken over the next few weeks and then we take out that high which would not completely you know surprise me at all because of this setup then i think we're on that red line okay so i know a lot of people have got theories you know formulas and things like that we, we won't you know make us some kind of truncation or we'll make some kind of you know triple top or whatever but i think that we're in a larger cycle and that red line has always been my target and i'll go through this with you okay so using fibonacci in fib circles we've always got to these targets so i'm going to go through this with you if you can just bear with me okay so what i've got right now is the cycle began from that point just there this is the cycle okay which ends relatively soon over the next few weeks or the next few months or whatever we're looking for a vertical in this chart get to the red line and then we've got a big horrible nasty bear market which is what i envision for bitcoin okay because this is the end of a big super cycle in my opinion okay so let me go through why that red line is my target right now for bitcoin of this particular cycle in this potential blow off top phase here for Bitcoin, okay? So looking at Bitcoin on the monthly time frame, I think, you know, there is a case that I am correct. We are in this larger cycle, you know, and it's not quite over yet. And it's looking to complete relatively soon inside of that box, just like this particular cycle, which is like for like, to be honest with you, in the waves. But in this particular cycle, I've gone through this with you, is the fact that what we do have is the, the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. And right now we've got the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. OK, so this particular cycle just there just took a lot less time than this particular cycle is right now. So I know a lot 
lot of people they're sort of you know governed by the halvenings and the four-year cycles for bitcoin but like i said to you so many times i think that what we've got is peak to peak cycles and each particular impulsive wave top which meets the 2.272 fib and the 3618 on the fibonacci circles just takes longer to get there to be honest with you so from this peak here and then this peak here you can clearly see we're just taking longer so this particular cycle i think is doing something like that for bitcoin okay so why why that red line so let me go through this with you okay so from this particular bottom here what i'm going to do is drop some red lines on on the tops basically so i'll drop the red line on the top and then I'll drop the, the green line on the bottom of the bear market, okay, in each cycle. So from there, we've got that particular bear market just there. Uh, turn that into green. That's your bear market bottom of that cycle. And then this is your bear market bottom of that cycle as well. So basically, uh, what we're doing, the green lines represent the bottom of the bear markets. The red lines represent the top of the, the bull markets, basically. So, you know, from this point here, we've got the bear market into a bull market we've got the bear market into a bull market we've got the bear market into what i think is still a bull market here uh, for bitcoin and from each cycle top it's just taking a lot longer to get to the cycle top and the projected target of the bull market okay uh, so i've gone through this so many times with you before if we drop the fib from that bear market to the previous bull market top you can project where your next target is using Fibonacci, which is a 2.272 Fib. Please remember that. And then in this particular cycle as well, we came up in the one, the two, the big three, which tapped the 1618 like that, like a boss, came back and then boom, bolted to the 2.272 Fib right there. Okay, so please remember that. So from this bull market top here to the bear market bottom, we can project the next target of the next bull market. So you've got your bear market, then you came up again, and boom, eventually get into the 2.272 Fib. Look at that like an absolute boss in that particular bull market so then again from this bull market top on the red line to the bear market bottom on the green line uh, this is why you know at this point i was projecting for my family and friends come up like this and eventually get into 2.272 fib around about 200k for bitcoin okay but in the process of doing so we've done a one abc two three a regular abc four and right now we're in the final fifth wave coming up just like this cycle here the one the two the three onto the one six one eight come back like that but what we've got is a compressed cycle where this is more drawn out okay uh, and that's basically it you know equally what we've got as well is the fib circles so if we drop the fib circles in i'll show you this so from the bear market bottom at uh, the bull market top sorry to the bear market bottom you can clearly see we came up and tapped the 3.618 okay just there in that particular cycle then from this bull market top to the previous bear market bottom uh, you can clearly see come up and tap the 3.618 again okay this is why i think at this time here we've got a little bit of confluence with the fib circles and fibonacci that if we are in this cycle then in theory we should be coming up to roughly this this red line here around about the 200k mark for bitcoin okay in this particular cycles blow off top the final fifth wave just like that was there and just like this potentially is right now okay so that's the theory i've got obviously it can all be invalidated if we start to see bitcoin roll and sweep the lows and so on and so forth the structure of this impulsive move for example if this is a wave one flat two in theory we can't lose the wave one high because you begin to invalidate the yellow wave structure right there so the wave one high is around about the 30k mark so that's basically bitcoin at the moment i think there is a case we are just going for a correction looking for continuation and if we do start to take out the verticalness you know if we do start to take out the local high then i think we're a verticalness in the chart for the remainder of the year and a potential blow off top this year followed by a big bear market that comes down like that okay and this is just a large cycle into a bear and this is something i've been looking at for a very long time hope you enjoyed that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned take care everyone back to another update on bitcoin Bye bye